This video is brought to you by RogueDeckBuilder.com. Purchase a playmat today and help us make the move to our new studio. We have over 10 playmats to choose from. Visit RogueDeckBuilder.com. Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. I thought I'd do one more bonus match with the Master Biomaster deck because I'm liking it so much. Definitely keep this hand, Knight those Shrine and Nyx, Voyaging Seder, and Elvish Mystic. Oh, wow. Talk about the God Hand. Um... Yeah, first turn Elvish Mystic. See if it actually... Uh, I want to see a red matchup. Definitely do. So this is cool. We have a great hand for going up against red. Unless he shocks this guy off, then I'll cry. Oh, tears. Tears are falling. Uh, this actually messes me up a lot. If he goes like Ash Zealot here... No Ash Zealot, just still red. We'll go ahead and throw out a... Voyaging Seder. And then we have the Corsair Crufix that usually can absorb Rabble Masters. This is going to be Rabble Master. Absolutely. Here comes Mr. Nope, Magma Jet. That's fine again. It hurts, but we get out the Corsair Crufix, which again, he's going to have to continue to find. This is not what an aggro deck wants to be doing. So... Yeah. See what Corsair finds us. Knight the Shining Nyx on top. We don't want that. Can't play it anyway. But next turn it can actually net us up a mana to cast at least a Nylea. So let's see if he actually... This might just be Boros Burn, actually. See if he War Leader's Helix off the, the Corsair now. If that's the, the... He's getting pretty low. Yeah, very low on actual burn spells, though. So his route is going to be trying to mutilate me to death. So we're going to tap this Snike the Shrine of Nyx, throw out the other one. Uh, keep this one. Tap it, at least for Nylea. It gets us closer to what we what we want to do. And I, I could just start dying to, like, Mutavault here. Uh, Boros, as Boros Burn, he had a great starting hand versus my starting hand. We have some answers to this, of course. In the form of Scavenging Ooze, in the form of Nylea, in the form of Prime Speaker Zagana. Uh, Boros Regners is, is interesting. See if this Burning Tree does much. It generates a, a net total of three. I don't think it does. So this adds three mana, which then I cannot spin on anything. But it gets us closer to the end result. Mr. Reckoner is going to do some damage. We're, at th we're still at 20 life, though. And on turn 6, that's pretty good. I'd love to just draw a blue source here. Good thing about Trample. Trample can get through. Oh, double Boros Reckoner. Ugh, this is going to hurt. We do get a land. Unfortunately, it's the wrong type of land. 3, 4, 5. We can actually generate enough. Right? 3, 3, 4. No, I can still only generate 4 mana. That is not good. Am I calculating this correctly? So, yeah, that only nets us up one. So, actually, it only taps for itself. So, it's only it's only making four. And a Chandra's Phoenix. At this point, I think we have to trade with a Reckoner. Rather than trying to get Nylea online. So, we are going to block. And how come that did not let me respond to the blocks? This game sometimes. I did not pass priority there. And it said, do I want to do anything? No, it just wanted to. Uh, we're going to go on. I don't know if I can. No, nope, there's no way I can come back from this. Let's see here. We would have. I don't know if we could have gone back anyway. The Boros Reckoners might have been just too much to deal with. Arbiclasses could have killed the Chandra's Phoenix. But it's going to be 3-3-3-3-3. Three, 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 and then I don't know if we could actually deal with the Reckoner. Reckoner is very hard for us to um, do anything against. So we're just going to bring in every life gain card imaginable. Which isn't much in our deck. It's just going to be two, two oozes and the one of Nylea's Disciple. We're going to get rid of stuff that is very high casting cost. Because I don't think we need Hornet Queens. I don't think we need necessarily Prime Speaker Zagana or Hydra Brewmaster. Um, Arbor Colossus is fine. But Garouk again. It's just going to be our high, high casting cost stuff. Rift actually needs to come out as well. So we can bring in one card. I don't think it's Plasm Capture. I don't think it's Mist Cutter Hydra. I guess Garouk is just the, the best card to actually go get us. Um, the, the scavenging ooze. So we'll submit this. It's going to be a tough matchup because he 
continually gets rid of our devotion. Uh, this can't, we can't keep this. I mean, it can find us stuff. We can temple, we can scry one. This is, this is a mulligan hand. This is definitely a mulligan hand too. I'm going to keep it though. It's got a Nisa that can sort of do stuff-ish. And if we, and we have every way to cast it, so. I hate, really hate you using Nisa for creatures though. And Temple of Mystery was the, the last card I wanted to see. Actually, another land would have been bad. We'll bottom this because Profit's not good um, at this point. We need to find something. Like, Primal Bounty would be decent. Those Reckoners. Yeah, Reckoners are just very, very problematic for our deck to deal with. We'll go Master Biomaster will be nice if we can actually get it to stick. I highly doubt it will stay out for long. I mean, he does have to use... Pretty decent removal. At this point, I think Chain of the Rocks are, are going to come in. I should have brought Reclamation Sages to deal with those. But anything like a Chandra's Phoenix here is, is very difficult. Nothing. So there's a Burning Tree. It's just going to be Master Bio. See if you get War Leader's Helix. Cool thing about this is now everything that comes out is going to be huge. So Nisa next turn, a 4-4 four four is, is a very legitimate threat. And he's got to decide what he wants to do right now against the, the Master Biomaster. I mean, he is Shock Shock. No, he just Magma Jets me. Sets up his hand. And again, Boros Reckoner is very, very deadly. Against decks that can interact with it, uh, like, like this deck. And again, maybe that's why I should have kept the Cyclonic Rift in. I do not want to see a Boros Reckoner here. I'm okay with this getting helixed off. I'm okay with it getting stoked off. Uh, double shocked or double lightning striked. I'm okay with that. As then it's going to let Nisa just really, really wreck. Yeah, thought that was going to be a Warlord's Helix. That's going to keep our Nisa aliver, if that's a word. Uh, another land. We will go ahead and check it out. I'm in a burning tree. For Anissa. And then I think we will just make a Yavimaya Coast. We have plenty of blue. A 4-4. Four, four. And now he's got to decide where he wants this next War Leaders Helix to go. Or Stoke the Flames. And if he can't do that, then I'm, I'm really sitting pretty with, with um, a lot of lands that are going to become very big. So I'm hoping Nisa gets us there. He had a pretty slow start as far as no Boros Reckoners or Chandra's Phoenix. He is, I mean, that's, oh, he's going to go for Nisa with a Lightning Strike and probably another Burn Spell, whether it be a Shock. So, it absorb 5 damage. That's huge. See if he chains the rocks to the Yabmaya Coast. And then I'm in terrible shape after that because I'm really into top deck. I think... I, I do continue. Oh, yep. That's, that happens. So, Coast is gone. No Reclamation Sage gear of that, but looky, looky what we just drew into. Sometimes you you luck your way out of things. We'll put out Nisa number two. And that took a ton of cards for him to deal with. That was three cards that Nisa absorbed. So we'll get in for two. Put him back down to a 22. And see if he's got an answer for Nisa. Skull crack. Yep, going to Nisa. And a skull crack going to Nisa. Wow, so, jeesh. Nisa just absorbed 
the, the two Nisas just got 10 damage out of the way. And <laughs> we are lucky, lucky, lucky today. Um, it's just going to be Garrick now. With our last remaining mana, this should fill up our hand. We have tons of creatures. It does get us a Voyaging Sayer and, and a Gyre and a Sage. Unfortunately, it gets the Quarry Calling out of the way. So let's bottom the rest of these. And get in there for the Burning Tree. And then now he's got Garuk at um, 5, which he's got 3 cards left. I really don't know. Even like Boros Reckoner at this point is not the greatest. I can see a concession coming. He's really running low out of stuff. He's going to start drawing into lands eventually here. Uh, Worldly to this off of land. Interesting. I don't know, at this point, I don't know if that's the right play, but he's, he's basically grasping at straws. We're going to go ahead and reveal. Get him up to a six. This one hits tons of cards. So we'll get the forest out. It's going to be the, I think Master Biomancer is actually the right play here. And we'll put out another. I think at this point we just put out a Sage. Because it can actually tap. It can be very hard for him to come back from this. One card left in his hand. Yeah, this very surprised if a concession doesn't come here. Generate eight mana next turn. There's the primeval bounty. Kind of just want to. Well, we'll just cast. We'll definitely cast the uh, Corsair Crew Fix here. See if it lands on the top. Corsair's huge. A primal bounty's on top. It actually, yes, it does evolve my sage. Because they enter with that. And then the entering of the... Evolves that. So we have a, we have a primal bounty we can actually cast. So we'll go ahead and reveal again. Or do I just want to put in a card? No, we'll reveal the top cards again with Garrick. Um, see here we get Scavenging Ooze, Cures Faller, Elvish Mystic. Put these on the bottom. Elvish Mystic's on top. This point I believe we just... Go another Master Biomancer. And he's going to tear a Courser. Yeah, okay. It's done its its job. Master Biomaster could come in. And I do believe we just... Go with a Voyaging Seder. Oh, that actually evolves our, our Sage. And a 7-8 Voyaging Seder. Yeah, so Master Biomancer is sweet. And that evolves our Sage. So I kind of do like the one of Sage in here. Glad you did this bonus matchup because we get to see just the power of, like, Master Biomancers. Get in here for the 4 damage. And what's this emblem say on Garuk? You get an emblem whenever you cast a creature, you search your library for each card put on the battlefield. Oh, that is that is just dirty. And he does scoop here. So, again, I don't think we need to make many changes. The only thing I want to put in is the one of Reclamation Sage. And there was a card that I was like, yeah, this card's iffy in here. No, nah, Plugonos is fine. It comes out early. Nylea is fine. Nice is fine. Primal found he's fine. Court of Calling is maybe... We'll go down to two of Court of... No, because we want the Court of Callings for the Reclamation Sages. Um, I, I Master Biomaster, I can't cut after what it just did. Maybe Cure's Follower? It's kind of hard to get out. 
And yep, I'm just going to cut a one of Cure's follower. We'll cut two and I'll put in a one of Cyclonic Rift that can possibly get us out of the Boros Reckoner scenario. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep it. The hand just seems dirty if I draw into anything. And it's going to make him be proactive. It's going to make him sh uh, start shocking stuff down. Uh, no first turn shock. Up oh, Magma Jet though. Very good card in this in this deck, especially when it's used to kill a creature. So here, I believe Sage doesn't really get anything. So it's just me a Seder. Which again, he's gonna have to deal either Lightning Strike or. He's got to be careful because the more he keeps just killing these guys, the more diluted his hand gets and the ability for him to do 20 damage starts to suffer. And eventually there's going to be more ammo for my ooze if I can draw into it. I do need to find something that can generate. Yeah, see that eats a lightning strike, which is huge. So another forest. I'm getting a little bit weak here, but at this point we can Voyaging Seder and Elvish Mystic. And now I need to draw and do to something. Otherwise, I'm going to be hurting. Good news is I'm pretty close to being able just to cast a Primeval Bounty or a Garouk. Nisa's in the deck. Nylea's Disciple. And a shock eats a voyaging satyr, and he passes. All right, so there's a burning trimester. That's pretty good because we can go sage. And now it's a two three. But unfortunately, we are we're out of cards. So he knows I don't have a Nisa now. He knows I'm I'm basically out out of answers. So we gotta avoid those reckoners once again. Charms me to the face. Love to see a primeval bounty next turn. We can generate a fair amount of mana. We can generate five, uh, six, seven, eight mana. So he's going to go for a Phoenix. All right, so it's definitely anyone's game here. He is at, He's ahead on the, on the damage count. I'm down to a 14. But a, just a few cards I can draw into that can com completely get out of this. This is one of them. This evolves my my sage. I don't want the master biomancer, but this allows me to start to pull ahead in the damage. As that's six, so we're we're even on damage. Master biomancer will find me. Subsequent any card that I draw becomes a huge threat. I actually can't even cast it, so that's a terrible card actually. But the the Corsair Crucifix is going to allow me to continue to find lands. See if he's holding up the skull cracks for that very reason. It looks like he missed a land drop last turn and oh, he tears it away. So that was pretty good. Can't cast that. We again, we'll just go in for the damage. This point is he 
considering shocking a, a burning tramissary. Down to an eight. See if a skull crack comes in a turn or a lightning strike. Lightning strike me. This is gonna be very, very close. I do have an ooze that I can draw into. Yeah, with three cards left in his hand, this is very difficult for me to come out of this. Especially the Boros Reckoner. That was a great draw, though. That was an exceptional draw with the, the Courser. Voyaging Seder on top. I think at this point I play just to gain a life. And he could redirect the damage to me. Let's see what he ends up doing with the Sage going to the Reckoner. What we really need to hit next turn is... is is this Ooze or a Court of Calling or a Nylea's Disciple? I don't think there's anything else that can get us through. But next turn we can all out do an Alpha Strike and it will all hit at the same time. If he has like War Leader's Helix stuck in his hand... It's a pretty dead giveaway if he's not attacking the Boros Reckoner that he's not going for lethal here. I go to a 6. Double Lightning Strike in his hand and a land, but that would be insane odds against me if he did have one, one land and two more Lightning Strikes. But it's going to be a Chain of the Rocks on the Corsair Crew Fix. On the Sage. Yeah, because that does save him. And a Nash Zealot, which, eh, it's pretty good. So one card left in the hand is he's definitely going to try to burn me, or ping me down with the, the Phoenix. So let's see what we can draw into here. Another Master Biomancer. That's actually really, really bad for us. As we cannot cast it. And next turn, yeah, this is, this is not looking good at all. He gets that last land. Now he's pretty excited about that because just swings in. Pretty sure there's a Warrior's there's Helix or a Stoke the Flame in his hand. Yep. So would have we were pretty far away, yeah, from any sort of gain life. Holy, there were Nylee's Disciple like nine cards down or something. But this is definitely a winnable matchup. Maybe I shouldn't have kept that hand. Had a lot of just duds. It didn't do anything. But, I mean, he had a nice little perfect... At the end there, he had to top deck that Mutavault. Coast would have given me a Master Biomancer. Wouldn't have done much. Yeah, I guess which is the War of these Helix. It was just a ticking time clock before uh, we died to not being able to deal with the Flyer. Um, anyway. Or actually, what was... Oh, the next draw would have been a quarter calling after that. So, But we had some pretty good outs there. This has been Ken with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah.